to all the Sixers fans out there. Did you see that game last night? The Sixers played against the Detroit Pistons. They played that game without Joel Embiid. Did you see their performance last night without Embiid? Did you? Losing 119-104 to a 3-13 and team in the Detroit Pistons? I mean, I would have figured the Sixers would at least, even though Joel Embiid wasn't there last night, I figured the Sixers team at least had enough decent role players and enough pieces to get by the Detroit Pistons without Embiid. And to be fair, this is an early regular season game, so it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the season for the Sixers. However, I feel, oh man, I felt embarrassed by that last night. The Sixers needing Seth Curry, Tobias Harris, who, to be fair, Tobias Harris had a decent night last night. But mainly Seth Curry, Danny Green, though, even Dwight Howard in his current stage. I thought they'd at least be able to do enough to help in Joel Embiid's absence against the Detroit Pistons. I mean, I understand the Sixers were playing without Embiid against the Lakers. I'd understand that, but we're talking the Detroit Pistons again. Man, that performance last night, it all reinforces that Joel Embiid is the Sixers team MVP. Bottom line. I mean, I've always known that MB was the Sixers team MVP. Don't get me wrong. But I was thinking that they had enough decent talent around them now, whereas they're going against teams like the Pistons. They could at least do enough there to win. They could at least play decently without Embiid, I was hope, hoping. But apparently last night proved otherwise. It's not just last night either. This season, the Sixers without Embiid playing are 0-4. The Sixers are 0-4 without Joel Embiid. The bottom line is, from what I'm seeing this season, this Sixers team lives and dies by Joel Embiid. Bottom line. Until I see otherwise, nothing's going to change my mind on that. I mean, look at the way the Sixers play with it, Joel Embiid, versus the way they play without him. Bottom line. And the bottom line is, when it comes to this Philadelphia 76ers team, Joel Embiid is the MVP, and he is the guy this team lives and dies by. Until I see something different. Until I see Doc Rivers to motivate this team to work around without Embiid, or until I see guys like Seth Curry, and especially Ben Simmons, which I made a video about that one already, or these other guys like Danny Green actually step up when they need to step up, when Embiid isn't there to do everything for them, until that happens, I'm not changing my opinion whatsoever. So I'll leave it at that. Bottom line is Joel Embiid. Right, right here is the Philadelphia 76ers team MVP. And there's a reason I got his shirt and unboxed it on YouTube. So I'm going to leave it at that. Those of you who watched this video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. The more likes the video gets, the more it gets pushed out there for other people on YouTube to enjoy it. If you also enjoyed this video, subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you know when I get a new notification. And feel free to comment. Let me know. Do you feel Joel Embiid? Do you feel this team can get better without him? Or anything Sixers related? Feel free to comment in the comment section. And also, about a few hours from now, I'm going to upload a video. I already recorded it. It's going to be an audio video as a trip slash reflection to Kobe Bryant. Because it was on this day last year. It's the one-year anniversary of Kobe's tragic passing. So be on the lookout for that video in a few hours. It's Nikki Stee signing off. I will see you next time. I got to get going.